Okay, middle schoolers, um, part two of, uh, or video two of working on your Mexican inspired cacti. Okay, we're basing this on the work of the Southwest Native Americans. Okay, so you can see I've made quite a bit of progress with adding in color. I'll zoom in here. Um, I've got a variety of greens that I've used for my cactuses. You might not have this much in the kit that I gave you, but if you layer colors, um, you definitely can make some of these colors and have a variation. Okay, so then I started to focus on the pot. Again, I want to see this in the style of the Southwest Native Americans. If you go back to that slide presentation, there's a couple of slides in there that show you um, good examples of colors and how bright and vivid the colors are. Also note, guys, I've gone through and I've used that baby oil technique in here. Um, I've gotten rid of any white areas. I mean, there's a little bit here and there, but I've blended the colors in really well. Okay, so my next step is going to be um, a watercolor background. And I chose watercolor because water and oil do not mix. So we have the oil pastels that we just did on the plants in the pot. When we add in the background of the watercolor, I will be able to create almost like a resist. Um, and um, watercolor will not seep into um, the, the, uh, the plants and the pot. I just noticed that I did not catch these little dots on here. All right, I'll come back to those in a little bit. Okay, so the set you have at home is this. If you are in class with me during this step, you're gonna use liquid watercolors or you can use the set as well. These are really fun to work with and if you're in class with me, I will show you how to do these. Okay, but because um, I made this video for most people that are at home, you're going to use the set. Now, I did give you two brushes. This set came with one brush. Um, this is pretty small to do that area. So I'd like you to switch to the other brush that I gave you. I think it's got a blue handle on it. Um, I don't have that one with me, so for now, I'm just going to use this brush that I have. So when you're working with watercolors, it's really important that you add a lot of water to the cake, okay? Now I'd like you to um, think about how you're going to paint your work. You know, this is a ground that it's sitting on. So for me, it makes sense that I would paint it brown. Now with watercolor, if you don't get it the color, the intensity that you wanted the first time through, you can add um, multiple layers of that color. Notice how much, guys, I'm dipping into my water cup. Quite a bit. And it's still kind of giving me a lighter brown look. So I think what I might do is add um, another layer of this brown as well. I'm trying to get my pigment as even as possible on here. And notice, guys, maybe you did notice this as you've been watching, when I bring it right up to the pot, even if I try to paint on top of that oil pastel, it doesn't stay because oil and water um, are opposites and they do not mix. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry a little bit um, and then I'm gonna add another layer of brown to that. Now the upper part of yours, you can use whatever color you choose. I think I might go with this navy blue and see what we get. You can combine two different colors, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's 
So actually, I think I'm going to do a little mixing. On the top part of your tray of your cover, you can use this tray as an area to mix your colors. So let me turn the camera here, or the watercolor for you, so you can see. So I'm dipping into the water, and then I'm dipping into the blue. Okay, so I have quite a bit there. And then I think I'm gonna go after that turquoise. All right, and I'm gonna mix the two of them together. I could also mix the turquoise right on top of that blue that I already have on there, right on my paper. I kind of like that. Just gives it a little bit more interest if there's two shades of blue in the background. I think I'm going to continue doing it that way. While it's still wet, I'm going to add in that lighter blue. If I zoom in on it, you can kind of see. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, variation in there instead of just one solid color. And you'll notice, guys, too, when you work with watercolor, it might make your paper buckle a little bit. Um, don't worry about that too much. It's just kind of the nature of the beast. There's nothing that you are doing wrong. I'm gonna add that lighter blue. Oh, I really like that. It's really making the other colors in the oil pastel pop out instead of just a white background. You can choose to do whatever background color you like. So I am pretty pleased with this. Maybe I'll come back down here. See what happens when I add, let me back it up. When I add in um, a second layer to the brown, I think I have a little bit of blue on my paintbrush yet, but I don't really mind that. If you choose to add in black, um, be very careful with that. Black is very, very dominant, and it will cancel out any other color that you have. I'll give you, a, I'll show you what happens here. So I'm going to pick up just a little bit of black on here. I am adding in just a really, really small amount of black while my paper is still wet. All right, make sure that you get right up to the edges, get everything covered, okay? Let this dry, don't move it yet, um, and that's it. That's your final step. So take a photo of this and submit this on Google Classroom. If I see you in class, um, I might give you a black piece of tag board to mount this to, um, to kind of finish it up. All right, guys, have fun with this. Talk to you later.